Hi folks, welcome back to Meaningful Money. Uh, this is uh, Port Wara Cove, and it's really, really high tide, so the water is about six feet behind me, so I hope I don't get too excited and move around too much. Um, it also means there's not a lot of view, really. Um, I thought what I might do, though, is begin to put on a map all the locations where I'm filming these. Uh, so uh, we'll try and do that as well, and uh, so you can see where I am. It certainly makes it a bit more interesting than uh, just being sat at my desk or something like that, or in my car, for that matter. We're going to talk today, we're going to carry on the little mini-series, um, which we've been talking about, the underlying investments of any portfolio. These are the basic building blocks uh, of how to make money, how to put a portfolio together. So we talked last time about cash. This time we're going to talk about gilts. Now, gilts are an incredibly important part of any portfolio. And they're an incredibly important part of how the whole economy works. Um, what a gilt is, well, gilt is a sort of shorthand term for a government bond. And what that is, to all intents and purposes, is an IOU. So imagine a bit of paper. It'll probably be about here on the screen. Uh, imagine a bit of paper. And it essentially says IOU on it from HM Treasury. And on that bit of paper, there are three essential pieces of information. One of them is how much uh, the government has borrowed from me, the investor. So I have lent the, the government some money. Let's say, um, in this occasion, it's £100. The second piece of information is the uh, redemption date. Let's say that's 2020. That's the date the government will give me my £100 back. The third essential piece of information is the coupon or the interest rate that the government will pay me on my £100 while they've got it. So let's call that, for purposes of this exercise, 10%. You'll see what I've done there, lots of 10s. We've got a £100, a 10-year term, and a 10% interest rate. That's because my mental arithmetic is shocking. So those are the three pieces of information, and they are fixed. Nothing can change them. That piece of paper will only be worth £100. It'll only ever pay me £10 a year. I put it on the screen initially as a 10% interest rate, but I'm going to change that now and call it £10 because the yield for the interest is fixed. So it's now £10. And then a fixed period in, uh, point in time when they will pay me back the redemption date. Gilts are guaranteed by the UK government. We're talking in UK terms uh, for the purposes of this video. And as such, they are deemed to be just about the safest investment you can get. And really, they are all about the income. Gilts, along with their cousins, corporate bonds, which I'll come to in the next video, are um, sort of lumped together under a uh, overall title, which is usually fixed interest or fixed income, because that's really what they're all about. So I lend my 100 quid to the government. They pay me 10 quid a year for the next 10 years. That's all straightforward. And uh, if it was as simple as that, I could end this video here. But as ever, it's not, because gilts are traded on the stock market. And what does that mean? Well, I've got a piece of paper guaranteed by the government to pay £10 a year. Now, that piece of paper is only worth £100, so the interest rate is 10% nominally. But what if um, a manager of a pension fund wanted to buy that gilt off me? Well, they might be prepared, in order to get that £10 a year guaranteed income, they might be prepared to pay me £200 for my bit of paper, even though it's only ever worth £100, because that's all the government's going to give me back. So if this pension fund manager buys my IOU off me, the government now owes him. And that piece of paper, though, is only worth £100, but he might be prepared to pay me more than that for the £10 a year guaranteed income fixed interest investments. Pretty useful, pretty uh, well, essential part of any investment. Yield though, yield is an, a really important part of investing. You can, to a point, value most things by the yield they produce. That's the income they produce. So if I've got a bit of paper yielding 10%, that's valuable, particularly at the moment with record low interest rates. But if my pension fund manager here has bought that off me for £200, can you see how yield is a function of the capital value? So if my bond, my gilt rather, has been bought for £200, but there is a £10 guaranteed income, 
Well, that's now a 5% yield based on the price he paid. So that is what we call the running yield. It's the fixed annual income divided by the price that uh, you pay for your guilt. It's an important thing to know. It's called the running yield or the current yield. But remember, that bit of paper is only ever worth £100. So at some point, that pension fund manager is going to get £100 back from the government, but he's £100 down on the deal because he paid me £200 quid for it. So when he is calculating the worth of that guaranteed income, he needs also to calculate, um, in, we'll put into that equation, the capital loss he's going to make. And that uh, calculation it comes out as something called the redemption yield, or the yield to maturity. So these are important things to get our head round. Um, but the reason why guilts are important is because they produce an income. The reason that why they're important is because where shares, for example, fluctuate all over the place, guilts tend to fluctuate in value much less. So they're useful for that as well. They're useful for reducing risk of a portfolio. So that is gilts. Um, next time we're going to come on to corporate bonds, which are similar, uh, but slightly different. So uh, stay tuned and I'll see you next time.